The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In this example, we're asked to use the circle shown to find the value of x. Notice that our given angle is formed by a secant and a tangent. And remember from the previous example that the measure of an angle formed by a secant and a tangent is equal to half the difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. And in the diagram shown, since the measures of the intercepted arcs are x degrees and 70 degrees, we can set up the equation 30 equals 1 half times x minus 70. Remember that when finding the difference of the arcs, we always take the measure of the arc on the far part of the circle minus the measure of the arc on the near part of the circle relative to the given angle. Now, solving for x in our equation, our first step is to get rid of the 1 half by multiplying both sides of the equation by 2. On the left side, 2 times 30 is 60. And on the right side, the 1 half and 2 cancel out. And we're left with x minus 70. Next, we add 70 to both sides. And we find that 130 equals x.